<laughs> Can you get out of my face, bro? Hi. Oh, he's clinky. Okay, go over there. Oh God, you're going inside. Hey guys, my name is Tyson. I'm 24 and I don't have any friends. Um, and I saw a couple other people making videos like this where they're like talking about why they don't have friends and they have social anxiety and I'm one of those people where I just have really bad social anxiety. I've had it for years and it's really messed up <laughs> a lot of shit in my life and really affected me. Um, and it still affects me in my work, in my social life. I don't have a fucking social life. I'm wearing my anti-social hat because it's just seemed perfect. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess I'll just go back to where it started when when I was younger, I was a really social kid. I had all a lot of friends and I remember like in elementary school, I was like that kid that would say stuff like when the teacher walked out of the classroom and like make everyone laugh, like I was that bitch. And so when I was 13, uh, we moved out of my state that I'd grown up in and had all my friends in and I moved to Utah and it was just, I guess, kind of like culture shock. It's very different there. The people are different. Um, it's cold and gloomy and sad. And I had a hard time. And I, it was like restarting. I was suddenly surrounded by people I didn't know. I didn't know a single person. And it was really hard. And I, I felt very lonely. I ate lunch alone which like had never happened before. <laughs> and I just remember feeling like embarrassed and, you know, I think this was the time in my life where I was kind of, I got bullied a little bit. It wasn't anything crazy, but like people would like make fun of my clothes and stuff. And like, I remember just hating myself. I like learned to hate myself <laughs> and it's so unhealthy, but like at that age, like I, I don't know, it's just an age where you kind of are growing and trying to figure yourself out. And I just felt like I didn't really have anyone to help me understand who I was and or support me. I don't know, it was really weird. And so anyway, I was alone, didn't have friends for years. So I think through eighth grade, ninth grade, 10th grade, I really didn't have any friends. I finally started making friends in high school when I was in like 11th grade, like my junior year and my senior year were good. I had friends. Um, and I'm still friends with those people, but I don't really talk to them very much. I moved away. I live in Arizona now and I recently moved and I don't have friends again. So it really sucks. Um, I guess I have like distant friends, friends that live in other places, but it's not the same, you know? <laughs> um, it really sucks uh, just to be alone. Anyways, I guess around like high school and junior high was the worst it ever was. It got to a point where I hated myself so much that I hated my voice, I hated talking. I would like prepare myself to say here, like when they're taking attendance in class, like that stressed me out. I couldn't even say one word, like it was really hard for me to just say here. Um, and it sucks. I remember giving presentations in school was my nightmare and stuff like that. And just socializing and being in groups of people was always just so intimidating and I was always just scared of what people would think of me and that I would say something to embarrass myself or I don't know because I've just had so many experiences like that and I feel like when I'm in stressful situations my mind literally starts to like have a panic attack and like I don't know how to communicate and it's really hard. Um, I read like self-help books and watch videos on like how to overcome social anxiety and stuff and it seems like the only real way to get over social anxiety is to put yourself in situations where you feel those emotions <laughs> like kind of like exposure therapy and you kind of have to realize like oh this isn't that bad and I try to do that but it seems like it always just goes back to how it was you know and so it really sucks and it, it feels like it's never going to get better. Um, and I guess one way it's affected my like work is I'm a photographer. Photography is one of my passions and 
one thing I have to do as a photographer is meet up with strangers and take their pictures and that is something that has led me to cancel so many photo shoots and you know basically put my dreams on hold because it's so hard for me even if it's someone that I know a lot of the time I just get terrible anxiety and there's like this expectation of like I have to perform and take good pictures and it's just really hard for me but and like small talk I fucking hate small talk like sitting next to somebody on a plane that starts talking to you is like my worst fear I fucking hate it um and you know I think I've gotten really good at faking like enjoying being social and like faking or or like I don't know what the word is like I don't know like pretending like I'm enjoying somebody's company and like socializing I don't know and you know I'm not someone who likes to go out and drink and party I feel like everybody my age likes to do that and I'm someone that just likes to stay home and like chill with my dogs and play video games and shit and I feel like that's rare for someone my age um and so you know like I said I don't really have any friends um I'm on Bumble BFF <laughs> if you guys don't know what that is it's basically an app um that you can use to like meet friends or to date or whatever there's like a friendship setting and so i've been on there for like seven months and i just don't click with anyone i don't know what it is i don't know why it's so hard for me to connect with people maybe I don't know, I'm just like very specific with the type of friends I want and it's like nobody my age wants to do the same shit as me. And you know, when somebody wants to meet up, I've done it a couple times, met up with like people and tried to like hang out with them and like become their friend and it seems to never work out <laughs> or you know, we just don't click. And it's weird because I know I'm someone that can get along with pretty much anyone and you know like I know I'm like a genuine guy and like I'm kind and stuff but it's like surprising how difficult it is for me to make friends you know I'm like what what is it about me that people don't don't like or why can't I connect with people and it really sucks and it's also affected me in jobs I think the my, one of my least favorite jobs I ever had I worked at a clothing store maybe two years ago i think it was two years ago uh the store was called j crew and basically in those types of jobs i thought it would be like really chill and easy and you just like fold clothes or like whatever but it's like they train you to you know greet the customer and recommend things and that obviously involves like social skills and i would have a panic attack every time a customer would walk into the store and i had to say like hi how are you like i can't i just can't do that shit <laughs> i don't know like it's so hard for me and it was terrible you know and i hate just like bugging people and trying to be like would you like me to start a dressing room and shit like that like i just i can't have a job like that that's something that i realized um and obviously it's something i'm trying to improve but it takes a lot of time you know it's gotten better over the years um but you know, it's super hard. And literally, I hang out with my mom and my boyfriend, and that's it. Like, that's all I have. And I'm grateful for them. But, like, I wish I had friends, you know, that I could hang out with and, you know, like, get a break from my boyfriend or, like, whatever. You know what I mean? And just, like, chill with. Another thing is, like, I'm a gay man, okay? And I've always wanted just like chill guy friends and we can just like bro out, game, you know, like do stupid shit. But you know, it's really hard to find guys that want to hang out with a gay dude, you know, it's, it's rare and it just sucks. It's like, I feel like I'm never going to fulfill that want of having like guy friends that are just like chill and no drama it, honestly like a lot of the time it, there tends to be a lot of gay guys that are very like prone to drama and cause drama so i i kind of 
avoid hanging out with gay, gay guys. Um, not because they're gay, but because a lot of the time they're, they just cause drama. So I wish I could have straight guy friends, but <laughs> you know, I, it's really hard to find a straight dude that wants, wants to hang out with me, you know? So, you know, I've had girlfriends pretty much my whole life. Um, I've just clicked with them better, I guess. And, you know, obviously it seems like girls are always attracted to the gay guys and like, it's just an easier friendship, you know? But yeah, at this moment in time, I really don't have any friends. I spend my weekends with my boyfriend or he goes out and he's already met friends, but I can't make friends. <laughs> it's really hard. Um, he's more social than me and he's on Bumble as well. And he's met up with people and like goes downtown and like drinks and goes to the bars and pool parties and like whatever. But for me, it's like, I can't fucking make a friend. Like it, it really sucks. Anyways, I haven't taken like any medication or anything like that for it. I've thought about it. I've tried like smoking weed and shit, but that just gives me worse anxiety. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know, but I think over time it gets better. I mean, if I look back at where I was 10 years ago, like that was the worst social anxiety I've ever felt, but I think it's getting better <laughs> and hopefully I can make some friends. I don't know. It just sucks, and it's kind of lonely, but I've learned to like being alone, and I'm grateful I at least have my dogs and my boyfriend and my mom. <laughs> so, anyways, I hope that somebody related to this, and I don't know. It could have, it, honestly, when I think about it, it could be like a social media thing. People are so used to socializing through like social media and stuff, and I'm one of those people who obviously, when I got like a smartphone, I was like, this is amazing and you kind of just learn to get used to socializing on your phone and typing and whatever that when you meet up with someone in person it becomes awkward you don't have time to think up a reply and respond you know what i mean i'm like maybe phones are just fucking up the world but who knows anyway that's my story <laughs> and why i don't have friends and my social anxiety sucks so anyways i hope that you guys like this video you guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter, whatever you want. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, have a good day, guys. And I hope you guys are doing well.